So what we have this morning is something really special. We have a vintage computer from about 2005. And what's special about this one is it's completely sealed in its original box. What we have here is a Sony VAIO RS series desktop with LCD monitor. This is completely sealed. The only thing that's been opened is the top flap to make sure that everything was actually still in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start opening this up and taking a look at what's inside. Our keyboard right on top, which we'll open in just a second. And we've got a little box with some accessories. We've got our power cord. We've got our Sony mouse, and this is a PS2 ball mouse. We have an IR receiver, and we'll show you what that's for in a minute. We have our remote, uh, the original sealed batteries in their little plastic, and we have a coaxial cable for hooking this into either an antenna or a cable wall jack. This looks like an S-Video to RCA video adapter. Microsoft Office 2003 trial. The new AOL desktop reference guide with AOL 9.0. Vio Connect music downloads powered by Sony. Uh, we have our system and application recovery disk. Uh, we have our limited warranty. And we have our quick start guide, don't care. And finally, in this little top box, we have our speakers. Let's take a look at these real quick. So in here we have these original Sony speakers. Oh, these are terrible. I can already, I can already tell this is gonna be so bad. All right, so we have some very, very plasticky Sony active speaker system, max power, half a watt. We'll, we'll see how these do. Let's go ahead and get that unboxed as well. So it's really kind of interesting. This computer actually sat in someone's garage or it may have been his uh, computer repair shop for the last 15 years, completely sealed. Um, when I got there to take a look at it, it was taped shut, completely sealed. Uh, I popped the tape on the top just to make sure, here's our keyboard again, just to make sure that there was in fact actually a computer in there and I wasn't buying a box of rocks. Uh, and, and that's it. That's it. I haven't even seen what's in here. I've never booted it. I have no idea if it works. Um, it's from 2005, so we're unlikely, well, 2004, 2005, we're unlikely to see any major problems with it. Come here. And look at that. Oof. So here we go. What we have there for you is an original Sony VAIO RS system in its original packaging with the original seal on top. And inside here, what we should find is a Windows XP Service Pack 2 machine uh, with an Intel Pentium 4 processor, three gigahertz, uh, only 512 megs of RAM, and what looks like a 200 gig, 7200 RPM spinning disk hard drive. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how it looks. Absolutely no yellowing. I mean, the system's unlikely to really be old enough for to get significant yellowing anyways and they weren't really using the kind of plastics at this time period that would have caused such significant yellowing, that would have caused such significant yellowing anyways. But it is nice to see that this is just that really nicely colored Sony Bio gray. And then right here on the front, you see we've even got our original bits of tape covering up our front drives. Um, I can say I have not bought a desktop computer in a box for uh, since before this computer was actually made uh so it's actually kind of cool to see like oh yeah look they they taped shut all these little drawers and everything um up here we've got our dvd rw and cdrw a dvd rom drive a three and a half inch floppy drive and then what's interesting what actually caught my eye about this system is right down here just take that tape off just ruining the value of this antique computer right down here we have our PCV RS 7 10G. So we have down here, we actually have our video inputs and some other ports. And this computer actually could have been used as a very early streaming PC or as a media creators PC to download video from, for instance, a Sony camera. All right, so we'll go ahead and spin around and take a look at the back. And right here on the back, we've got our standard array of ports for a mid 2000s computer. We're gonna see we have 
A couple of PS2 ports up there at the top. We have Firewire, because this is a Sony machine. We've got an LPT printer port, four USBs, and I'm just gonna take a wild guess here and say those are probably USB 1.0. Uh, we have an optical out, and we have a RJ45 ethernet for uh, probably 100 megabit internet there that's currently blocked off saying not a modem because they don't want you to plug a modem into it. We have our integrated sound with our three jacks. We have a video card with DVI, VGA, and S-Video out. We have our video capture card with coaxial in, S-Video in, and RCA in. And then way down here at the bottom, we have our modem. So what we can do actually is let's go ahead and before we do anything else with this, let's go ahead and get it set up and take it apart. All right, so we have our Sony Vio here. We're gonna go ahead and just get this taken apart and see what's inside and what's making her tick. So we've only got three screws here on the back, it looks like. Whoosh. Well, that wasn't any harder than most modern systems I've worked with. Frankly, I was expecting quite a bit more trouble for something of this age. All right, so inside here, let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, down here, we have our video and audio capture card, and you can see it is running a lot of stuff straight pass through out to our front panels, or probably those front panels are running back into our capture card here. We have our, what is this? This is a, this is some kind of NVIDIA GeForce card. Now it is an AGP slot. Oh, there's our graphics card. We have an Asus. This was one of the very last cards that was actually made with AGP compatibility. So there might not be a lot for us to upgrade there even if we wanted to. All right, and here we've got our, we've got our 512 megabytes of RAM. We've got our hard drive. Got our memory card reader, got our CMOS battery, it still looks good down there. All right, so that's what we got inside. Yeah, two DVD drives and a floppy drive. We're gonna go out and put this back together and see if she turns on. This was an all-in-one system that also included a early TFT LCD monitor. And we have that right here. Oh boy. It's not as heavy as an old CRT. It's not super lightweight either. We can see this is still 100% sealed. I have no idea what this looks like in here or what's in here at all. So let's go ahead and get this one opened up as well. Okay. Oh, we've got more manuals and stuff. All right, so in here, it's a, uh, we've got a, yeah, don't get your fingers caught when you're adjusting the angles. We have some software and warranty information. We have a VGA cable. And we have a power. Now it's interesting that it has VGA because this computer actually supports DVI. And I would expect this monitor to support DVI as well. But they didn't give us a DVI cable. <clears throat> and here it is. And there we go. But wait, there's more. Uh, so we've got our standard four by three aspect ratio. And if we take a look at the back, this has some really deeply sunk in there ports. Oh no, this monitor only supports VGA. It does not support DVI. And if we take off this cute little back panel here and go ahead, turn it around, I can show you that right there. You should be able to see that. Yep, VGA, no DVI. All right, well, it started coming on just as soon as we, uh, CMOS daytime not set. Yeah, that CMOS battery is almost certainly dead. <laughs> System time. Hardware monitor. CPU temperature is 52.5 degrees Celsius. Motherboard temperature, 27 degrees Celsius. Chassis fan, 27. CPU fans working, chest fans working, power fans working. <laughs> what time zone are you in?
and we won't do any registration for now. Uh, I'm not sure they actually care. Do you want to set up internet access? No. We'll, we'll get to that later. Congratulations, you're good to go. And it restarts. That's a sound I haven't heard in a long, long time. <laughs> 